Hi everyone, welcome back to Fashion Psychology TV. I am your host, Dr. Dawn Karen, and on last episode, we spoke about how will the coronavirus change the state of fashion. And on this episode, we will be delving into this further by discussing or analyzing who will be impacted by this change. In my book titled Dress Your Best Life, I strategically saved the last chapter as your woke wardrobe. I will not give any spoilers, but I will say that dressing woke according to my fashion psychology field is intentionally dressing to be socially and environmentally aware. As you may know, if you have been following the news, there is unrest. The citizens are rebelling. They are no longer capitulating to a system that is designed to protect them. The system has failed and people are vocalizing this. Draconian measures are now being implemented by officials and alike that one must not enter an establishment without a facial mask or their wrists being turned away. But what is not being addressed is the ramifications of particular individuals wearing facial masks. In my fashion psychology field, I teach my students about its motto, styling from the inside out by bridging the gap between perception and reality. That's styling from the inside out by bridging the gap between perception and reality. So if we apply this motto, let's say for instance, to black men wearing facial masks, they not only need to take into account the safety of others to prevent the spreading of coronavirus, they need to take into account the safety of themselves. And this is because the stereotype. It is highly known that a black man wearing a facial mask is a threat to society. So what happens when someone is a threat? They must be stymied, hogtied, and shackled, rendering themselves defenseless. The perception created and the reality lived must be acknowledged when we speak of marginalized communities wearing facial masks. Again, safety is paramount. The safety of others, but also this person wearing the facial mask has to think of the safety of themselves. Now, this is quite oxymoronic this is quite burdensome, that when one wears a facial mask, they must take into account the myriad of stereotypes, perceptions that will be placed upon them when all they're trying to do is live safely and be a citizen of this world. I would liken this to the post 9-11 attacks when people of Middle Eastern descent, when they wore turbans, they were automatically deemed as terrorists. I am sure you can think of many examples of how clothing could elicit unwanted, unwarranted 
stereotypes. Dressing woke is wearing a facial mask. Not only does it mean that you are being environmentally conscious, but you are being socially aware. Do you have the stereotype that black men are criminals when they're lawyers, they're doctors, they're entrepreneurs, they're fathers, they're sons, they're brothers, they're uncles? I charge you, when you put your facial mask on, you put your stereotypes down. This is how the impact of the coronavirus will change the state of fashion. Not only is this how, but this is who it will impact. If you can think of any other ways of how and who this will impact, you leave a comment below. I would love to know what you think. Be sure to like, comment, or subscribe.